Greetings! Welcome to another unboxing video here in Nerdy Platter. I'm Lotus and today we're going to unbox a Ron Weasley Nendoroid from Good Smile Company. Let's get started! And now we are opening the box of Nendoroid 1022 Ron Weasley from the movie series Harry Potter. So same with the other Nendoroid boxes in this series, we can see the posting suggestions at the side of the packaging. At the back are the product details and also showing the other characters available. At the top is the authentication seal of the distributor and of course we only want the original. As we all know, Ron Weasley is one of the main protagonists in the series and he played a very big part in the story. So it's just apt that Good Smile Company gave him a special Nendoroid figure to recreate some of his best scenes in the movie. And now we open the box. Let's see what's inside. I was actually thinking twice on getting the Ron Weasley figure. But then I asked myself, what's the sense of having Harry if he doesn't have his friends, right? Same as the other figures, the box came in with this insert that is interestingly useful for improvised photoshoot backdrops and display prop purposes. Ron is not one of my favorite characters in the series but I think we can all agree that he is important to the development of Harry especially since Harry never really had his friends of his own, maybe aside from his cousin Dudley who was the only child interaction he had growing up. Included in the blister is the main Nendoroid body with the standard expression plate, an extra face plate that has the ex expression of nervousness, scabbers the rot, a generic broomstick, his two wands, one is which is broken in half and the other binded with spellow tape, a howler from the second book, and an extra set of hands for other posing purposes. Most of the parts of this Nendoroid was designed to recreate the scenes from the movie series Harry Potter 1 to 3. It is really exciting because it has some nostalgia feel in it. Now we take the standard face plate off and we'll try the nervous expression plate which Eric lovingly called the anxiety rod. Actually, there is a good explanation for this uh, usual nervousness that Ron has. Since Ron is the sixth among the Weasley brothers, it is easy to feel inferior among his elder brothers, especially from the playful twins Fred and George, living with them in a small house constantly fearing of being horribly pranked. Compared to the Nendoroid Harry Potter, Ron has two one designs. First is the one that is starting to fall apart, and the other is when he tried to mend it using Spellotape, which both appeared in the Chamber of Secrets movie. The figure comes with extra arms that you can use to hold his broken ones, hence perfect for his nervous faceplate. Fortunately, by the end of the movie, his father Arthur replaced his broken one. We have the figure of his pet Scabbers, first seen in the first movie until his real identity was revealed on the third one. The amazing thing about this particular figure, Scabbers doesn't have a joint slot unlike Hedwig. Scabbers can stand on his own. You can actually place it on any flat surface and interestingly even on top of Ron's head which is actually pretty cute. A wizarding skull is not complete without broom flying, so it's just apt that our Ron Weasley Nendoroid has his own broom and flying poses. Here's the spare body that can emulate the action of riding a broom. It also includes an actual broom, unfortunately it's just a regular flying broomstick design, but still good enough to recreate the flying scenes. Of course, with the use of the allotted joint slot for the transparent joint stand at the back. Compared to the movie in the first book, The Philosopher's Stone, Ron together with Harry and Hermione rode a broomstick to catch a flying key in one of the secured enchanted rooms that guards the Philosopher's Stone. We didn't get that in the movie though. Another interesting part of this Nendoroid is the Howler. If you remember in the second movie, this is the Howler that Molly Weasley sent to Ron to scold him for stealing their family car to Fort Angela when they went to Hogwarts when the Hogwarts Express left them. 
It also has a joint slot that can be used together with a stand platform to display alongside the nervous run expression. We can attach the head back to the original body and look how perfect the howler is together with anxiety run. I'd be scared too if I get a howler from my mother. Much worse than getting 50 missed calls from her. How about you guys? Run. Since Ron is also a true-blooded Gryffindor, we also have a Gryffindor scarf fitted for him. Also, a bended arm to perfectly hold a one hand. I'm a little sad to tell you guys, but that comprises all of Ron's parts. Compared to Harry and Hermione Renderoids, Ron has the least number of parts available for him. It would be nice if there is a body replacement that wears a knitted sweater with the R embroidered in front. I think that's another iconic Ron Weasley get-up. But the real cuteness of Ron Nendoroid compensates the lack of extra parts. Don't you agree? And there you have it. Nendoroid 1022 Ron Weasley from the film series Harry Potter. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this unboxing video as much as we loved making it. If you love watching more of these, Check out our channel and watch our other unboxing videos that also features our other characters from Harry Potter. Comment your suggestions on what you want us to unbox next. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button icon so you won't miss any of our videos in the future. You can also reach us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nerdyplatter and connect with us on Instagram at nerdyplatter. We'd love to hear from you. On behalf of Louie and Eric, this is Lotus serving it to you on a nerdy platter.